DJs, if you're struggling to get your business started, struggling to really get that DJ career up and running, trust me, I get it. Um, we just had our private members group mastermind today, and we just we we talked about some things that I feel like everyone needs to hear, especially at this time with all the craziness going on in the world. I feel like I, I have to hop on here and kind of share some wisdom with you guys. So let me know in the comments as we roll through if this is really landing with you and if you guys need more fire. When we talk about mindset, mindset is what makes us go as a human. And the only thing that keeps us successful is hitting goals, like momentum. Creating momentum is the only re way that you're going to just keep pushing and pushing and pushing when things get tough, when the economy goes down hard. The only thing that keeps us moving towards our final goal is momentum. And the only way that we're going to hit these goals is if we have a solid, clear I wanted to swear there, but a target that we can aim for and aim at. If we got fuzzy targets, like you're never going to hit a fuzzy target. If there's a target out there that's just like going up and over and around, the chances of you hitting that are very slim. You might get lucky and hit it once, but trust me, luck runs out. Like you are not going to get lucky 24 seven. You don't know anyone who's been lucky forever. So what you have to do is build processes into you and the way that you do things to make sure to ensure your success. So I'm just going to go over a few things that I saw today that just like blew my mind when we were going through the private members mastermind. And if you guys want to be a part of that, you guys want to hop on zoom with me personally and talk about your business and what's going wrong and you need help join up right now. The DJ connect dot com $27 a month it'll be the best thing that you've ever spent money on because this is what we're actually going to be talking about today so I just went to mobile entertainment expo in Las Vegas um, and I needed a notebook if you ain't taking notes anywhere you go um, trust me there's nothing wrong with it you need to be taking notes because when you come up on stuff like this this is what's going to change the game so at first I was going to take a different notebook but this notebook was basically new I only had like three pages written in and I knew I was going to be doing a lot of writing when we went to, to Vegas because it's a, a DJ expo tons of speakers talking about how to make your business better uh, blew my mind and that's what we went through I went through everything that I learned at mobile entertainment expo so if you want that replay is up right now you get to watch it again um, I will see you there anyways this notebook is from 2019 hopefully you can read this but what it said here is I want to be debt free by 2019 and stay debt free um, and what comes up next is even more insane. So this is my goal from 2018. This is my 2018 little booklet. Um, I had a bunch of goals. What you always want to have are three goals. Sorry, three goals. You want to have your massive moonshot goal that like it's 20 years out from now, 10 years out from now, whatever it is, some massive goal that if you hit this goal, your whole life would change. So you want this massive goal. And then you want to have your closer goal. Like this is the goal that you're working to right now, this year, one year from now, I want to be debt free and I want to stay debt free. That's what, that's what I had on this goal right here. And then you're going to have your like one week out goal. What's it, what's your goal right now? What's something that you have to do right now to get to your one year goal, to get to your 10 year goal. What's that one little thing that you need to do this week. That's going to get you to your one year goal. That's going to get you to your, your 10 year goal. What's that one thing? So you want your one week goal, your one year goal, and then like your 10 year goal, whatever your massive goal. That's insane. So my one year goal was to get out of debt stay debt free and there's things about debt so there's consumer debt which is horrible if you're just going out buying swiping your credit card buying crap that is horrible horrible debt that's something my girlfriend loves to do just buy crap that she don't need there's also something that is called like that is good debt if you're taking money that whoever's lending you it would be the bank that the bank's lending you on a loan or whatever to go buy a business tool to go buy a controller or to go buy speakers if you're using debt to buy something that's going to bring you an roi that's incredible what i usually spend debt on is is 
information is knowledge. I've spent $20,000 in coaching, personal coaching. Like the guy you see before you is not the Andrew that I just, I made. This is bought and paid for. This Andrew is bought and paid for. Everything that I know I've paid money for, which is sometimes really crazy for some of the people to think. And like some people are thinking right now, why am I going to sp go spend $27 a month on this guy's course? But that $27 a month could equate to hundreds of thousands of dollars in the future. So you have to be able to understand that there's some debt that's bad, consumer debt. But if you're spending debt on like gear or knowledge, that 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 debt is priceless. That's, that's debt that's going to bring you money back in the future. So past that, I don't really need to go through that list. But what came up on the next page? My, uh, my 10 year out, my massive goal, quit my job in 2022, quit my job in 2022. I quit my job in 2019. Like that, this is what I mean by when you start making this giant goal that you don't think you're ever going to attain, you start working towards it. And it doesn't matter that you're not going to hit it. Like you, you might not ever hit it, but you're working towards that goal all of the time, pushing towards this bigger goal, this bigger future that you want. And what happened is I pushed so hard that I got to my, my long-term goal, my quit my job in 2022. I got there in like basically 2020. It was like the winner of 2019. So something that I thought was never going to come, I got there real quick. And that's because I put in so much work, so much time. I just forced myself to put myself in that state to make sure that I would get that, that, wow, it magically happened. And right now, everyone's in some form of debt, but my kind of debt right now is like I'm paying off my, my business vehicle that's leased and it's, it's a tax write-off. So there are ways to use debt to really get yourself ahead. I'm no accountant. I'm not an expert in this stuff, but I, I'm pretty sure I've done a lot of things in my life that have uh, allowed me to talk about these things uh, in a smart way, like using my old rental unit as a way to buy my new house. Like I use leverage from my house to buy another house and now I have two houses and that's just the way that the system works. Like if you don't know how the system works, you're never going to be able to use it to your advantage. Uh, and they don't want you to know because these are things that only like the, uh, the, the special people get to know. So if you want more fire like this, you want to see what everything that I learned at mobile entertainment expo join up right now. It's in the private group, the DJ connect.com spend some money to make an endless amount of money or be stuck in your life forever. But if you like stuff like this, a lot of people aren't going to see this video. Please smash that thumbs up button. Please like this. And this is just going to help spread this to more people out there. If not, this is not my kind of normal video. So a lot of people are not going to see this except my core audience. So if you like this fire, like it, please subscribe if you want. But if not, I will see you on the next one. Let's go. Thank you.